The Council of Churches in Africa hosted an ecumenical religious clergy conference in Kensington earlier today. The purpose of the conference is to congregate and address inequalities while also intermediating socio-cultural mechanisms that ensure sanity prevails amongst churches. The event also saw peace ambassadors and leaders who are working tirelessly to resolve conflicts taking place in different regions in Africa being honoured. This is the first day of the conference, will, which will be hosted up until Sunday. And some of the key issues that they say they will be discussed during this conference include early child development, profanity, and sexual misconduct by the different leaders in various regions in churches. You know, they also say they will use this conference to honor peace ambassadors who are working tirelessly in and around Africa working to mitigate and resolve conflicts that are found in different areas such as Burkina Faso, Mali and Gabon. You know, they also say that they will be tackling the issue of education because they say that schools now do not have any religious representation which plays a key major role in making sure that the direction of the young youth that is very, very active is directed in the right direction. We are here in South Africa as the Council for Churches, which is the umbrella body for churches, ecumenical and ecclesiastical authority for all indigenous churches here in Africa. We will be holding uh, a conference for the next two days, addressing more of uh, issues to do with uh, splits, addressing more of uh, issues to do with prophecy, girl child, early child marriages, uh, drug abuse, um, human trafficking. We have chosen South Africa for now because most of the African, our African brothers and sisters are more here in South Africa. We also speak to, you know, an executive member of the councils of churches in Africa, you know, who is a woman and she gives us her view on the current state of women and what a woman's role is in the society that we currently live in today. In society, women play a role of influence, empowering one another by building first their homes then they can edify and begin to build their communities. Then they can edify more and begin to build a nation. Dr. Moyo also emphasized that he might be open to, you know, engaging with government on various issues as to maybe changing some laws or maybe introducing, you know, resolutions that will, be, that will make it easier for churches to intervene in critical issues and have their word heard. For Soweto TV News, I am Zweli Banzi Mazibugo.